everyone. Tranquil Tingles here, and I hope that you're doing well. Today's video is inspired by my love of being around and in the water, be it pools, be it the ocean, bath, tubs, or sinks. It's always been something that has fascinated me. I thought we could spend some time exploring some of the sounds while I wash a few of my dishes. And I hope that you really enjoy the video. Now first we have lots of bubbles. I particularly like the way these sound as well. So please leave me feedback if you'd like me to do a video maybe with nothing but bubbles. I'd be more than happy to do an entire video with just the bubbles. close. Quite intriguing. All of the shapes. They are very small ones. And then there are larger ones. And they reflect the light quite beautifully. So, there's a couple of the big ones right in the center. Hoping that they make some really nice sound in the microphone. putting some thought into videos that I want to do coming up. I think my next video I'm going to focus in on crinkle sounds. Here. Now, in case you're wondering, I don't typically use a sponge. This is a brand new sponge. I have a tendency not to use the sponges on a regular basis because of their ability to harbor bacteria. So, in case you were wondering, if you were,
went a little heavy on the soap, but I really needed it for the, the sound and the visual. So the first item that I have to wash is in fact, it is a cake pie cutter. It has a combination of matte steel color and then a very shiny feel serrated edges to cut into that pie or cake easily. been a great amount of my time trying to bake new cake recipes, also trying to decorate them, and it's honestly, it's been some time since I've done this. So I have some very nice supplies. And this was one of them. Or it is one of them, rather. I actually have quite a few friends that I went to school with that can really do quite a good job decorating. Some of them even do them for birthday parties. So that's very nice. This makes perfect, that's for sure. Taking a few classes certainly isn't a bad idea. All right, so I'm pretty sure we've done a good job here. Let's go ahead and move that to the adjacent sink, and then what we'll do is rinse that off towards the end. Sorry about that. So the next item that we have is a Starbucks coffee mug. Now, this one I spotted and just had to have it. I really liked it because of the coffee beans on the outside of the mug. So you have all of the roasted beans. And you have two of the unroasted. This is a Starbucks mug. Oftentimes they really do have some really nice mugs. One of my favorites. to watch my Easter basket video. You might have remembered me saying that I was a fan of cups, coffee mugs, travel mugs, travel drink mugs. 
It's really a bit of an addiction, but not a bad one to have. At least I'm typically well hydrated. I like the complementary colors of this mug. one also covered. The lava also too just made it into the adjacent sink. I'll try to set it down lightly. Alright. The next item we have is a stained glass. really got some really nice designs on it. the stem is quite defined. So this is a perfect complementary glass for tea, maybe even water. When you have guests over. I'm a big tea fan and coffee. not that crazy about soda. Kind of migrated away from the soda, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. Alright, let's move on to the next item. in love with this set when I first saw it. They were presented to me as a housewarming gift. And if you can see, 
we have some blue flowers we have more like leaves I would say but we have some blue ones and there's a brown stem and then you have some almost glossy black ones on a matte black plate I really just adored this my scent spin has actually worn quite well considering there are some scratches but minimal and I really like the contrast of the colors I like this blue and we have one, two, three, four, five on this side of the stem we have one that's more like to the right I would say maybe so that's one, two, three, and four let's count let's count this black so we have one, two, three, and four so I liked the overall shape of the plates and bowls they're more of a, a square shape and even the coffee cups are in fact a kind of square shape too really great gift. I was extremely fortunate. I'm just going to set this one to the side. We'll come back and rinse all of these together. So, on to our last item that needs to be washed. Now this is a really, really pretty glass. Also, design tend to do is let this soapy water run out and then what I'll do is
come back after it's run out and then we'll rinse off all of these items. How does that sound? Give me just a moment to rinse out all of the soap and then we'll come right back and rinse all of these items off so they can dry. Alright, so I was able to successfully drain out all of the soapy water. Now I have clear, cool water to rinse our dishes in. So this will be our last step and then we'll allow them to sit on this towel over here um, until they're nice and dry and ready for use. The first ones we have are clear glass. and clean. Don't see any areas that we missed. That looks good. Looks very good. Alright, so there's one rinsed. The second item. cover. coffee cup we'll throw some soap in there looks like we did a good job here too I don't see any area that's missed. Looks good. It's all clean. Very good. Alright. Our next item that we have.
miss anything here either. a different sound when I hold it down here. some soap on it. you've found this really enjoyable and relaxing. I look forward to seeing you again. If you like the channel, please subscribe so you're updated of new content. Remember to take time to be nice to yourself. It's your health and your wellness depend on your ability to give yourself a break from life, be it good nutrients, give it good rest. And hopefully my channel will be a place that you can come and have your peace, even if it's just for a brief while. Bye now.